Hello everybody in YouTube land. I'm uh, going to do a quick review on the Cisco's Video Surveillance Operation Manager. I am with a school district. I work for a school district and I'm the, the video tech for that school district and uh, we have about 250 to 300 cameras, going to be 300 cameras, 250 currently, recording on this Cisco system. Uh, three recording servers and one video operations manager that you log into and that's what I'm logging into right now wanted to show you a little bit about it I have not seen anything on YouTube that does this um, hopefully this will focus there you go and uh, in depth without any paid opinions I should say Anyway, so on the once you log in, you'll notice uh, I don't have any cameras on here because uh, on this view, I don't have it uh, set up to do that just for speed wise. But you could get predefined views um, just to come up the way you want to. Um, right now, there is no school in session, so there should not be any students. Uh, in the halls to protect their identity and all that and that's why I'm doing this after hours. Notice how slow it is when you're pulling up more than four cameras. That's one of my um, one of my pet peeves as far as the system goes. Um, if you're pulling up more than four you're going to wait for a while and this is just uh, um, a live shot will you. Uh, but if you pull up one camera it's pretty uh, pretty fast let me go to an outside pan tilt zoom camera here oh, didn't select it this is an outside pan tilt zoom um, and you gotta click the plus or negative button at the top to show it um, anyway on the left hand side and there goes a car right there but on the left hand side you have your predefined views uh, your camera feeds and your camera archives um, video archives and under here you click on the, can the school that it, you want to look up the camera and then there's a tree that falls under, underneath it um, pretty basic uh, as far as setup goes yeah, find the camera and find the recording is pretty easy um, now down here you have all kinds of toolbars. I'm going to move this camera up just a little bit just to see what this camera is doing while I'm doing this demonstration. Make sure nothing's going on there while I'm doing this. Um, anyway, I do not monitor these. I just basically repair them and install them. So it just happens to be I'm doing this video and somebody pulls up here and it would be interesting if something happened. But anyway, uh, over here you click on this uh, display feed archive controls you got video bars uh, which takes away the top um, information timestamps scroll bars all of that really scroll bars and uh, all that's really under archives so you're not going to see it drop out once you click it but then you click over on this little joystick and that's the uh, PTZ controls you could have uh, your source uh, select your source camera you're talking about or your presets which I don't have any presets on this because uh, they didn't want them this particular display events which I don't have any events set up which would mean if there's a motion that walked within that picture or if you had a, um, a like a relay switch contact you could have it pan you know a pre-designed pre view of when a door opens, you can pan it over to that view or that cam or that door. Um, so that takes care of all of those. Now you got your your typical controls when you're talking about recording software, um, play, stop, uh, step, reverse, play, reverse, pause, play forward step forward or you could just force it to record which all of our cameras are recording all the time so that's never needed uh, synchronize loop archive seek to beginning and when you're playing 
the archive, uh, which I'll pull up on to show you. Uh, hopefully there won't be any students in it. I'll try to go in the middle of the night. Um, when you're playing an archive, I'll go 11.50 at night. No, that's not a good example, because there's no light. When you're playing it, you can grab this scroll bar and drag it to the right, and you'll, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's moving a lot faster in play mode. So you scroll to the right faster, over here slower, and it'll slow down. Or if you're wanting to jump minutes, seek minutes, you click that and it'll jump five, ten, depending on how much you're wanting to do. Um, you could do swap, which you could swap between live and loop archive, and highlight all, which I've never used, so I'm not really too fluent on that. Uh, or you you could look up the dates by two ways, clicking on this calendar here and. Uh, select your date and your time, or you can and I tell everybody in our district to use the scroll bar. More simplistic, and you could find it faster, I believe. Over here, you could do a snapshot, create snapshot, archive, clip form, or create save view form, which means you create your own array of cameras. Um, to save the clip, uh, or you can, uh, once you click on the archive clip form, you can set the time, the start time, and the start, the stop date. And you have uh, different, I wish I could zoom in on this camera, but this particular camera won't zoom in. But it says uh, save as this computer AVI file slash MP2 file or a WMV file, media, uh, Windows Media Video, server side, which is a clip which is uh, Cisco's version secure clip which is Cisco version but with a password or streamable and that's self-explanatory on that so in other words if you slave it to your computer it's on your computer if you serve on the server side it'll take up space on the server side which I always tell them unless if it's, a, if it's really important just to save it to your desktop or your laptop whatever burn it to a disk but if it's a big enough uh, situation where they're gonna need multiple people viewing it then I'll tell them to save it server side um, but since I'm in archive mode um, I can show you what these bars all mean here title bar timestamp scroll bar fixed aspect ratio full source all that kind of stuff is all right there um, time and stamp Timestamp should show up there. I don't know why it's not now, but as far as um, operations manager, it's pretty good. I'm a little disappointed on the speed, how it goes, how fast it is on uh, looking it all up as far as live. So therefore, I created um, a website that they can access all of that information from, which you can't see the website. So, but it's not outside of a district anyway so to keep things secure um, so if you wanted to look at a school click on that and since we have access cameras you can embed them into a website um, and just watch them all live I have yet to find a way to do a secure log on another website but anyway I've talked nine minutes so I'm out uh, Send me feedback or whatever. Uh, if you want to know more information, I'll be more than happy to uh, post uh, a more detailed how-to. Later.